Australians will soon be asked to decide whether to change the definition of marriage. We might like to think it won't affect us, but it will. Should same-sex attracted people be able to marry, as some want? Or should marriage remain a special covenant between people of opposite sex, who by doing what husbands and wives do, usually end up with a family? Hopefully one that sticks together for those kids over the long haul. There are arguments to be made both ways. Most of us know and love someone who is same-sex attracted and we want only the best for them. But we also love real marriages and we know that living out God's plan for marriage and family is already tough enough today without further confusing people about what marriage is. We need a sound marital culture to form people as good husbands and wives loving mothers and fathers. We shouldn't be pressed to choose between loving homosexual people and loving real marriage. Christians rightly care about both. Keeping the debate civil, indeed loving, will be important. Most people who believe in traditional marriage are not bigots nor are most of them clerics. Saying ministers of religion will be exempt is no consolation to the 99% of believers who are not ministers of religion. If the law is changed, will Catholic parishes, schools, hospitals and welfare agencies still be free to employ lay people who profess our values? Will they still be free to teach what the church teaches about marriage and family? And how about people in business or the workplace? Will they be dragged before tribunals or otherwise bullied into accepting the gender ideology of our age? These are challenging times for the church. They are times that require us to show courage and compassion in equal measure. But if we really care about others, we must stand up for faith, life and love at this crucial time. So pray, discern, act. God bless you always.